Sam's in the Weather Center with a look at tomorrow's forecast. Isaac? Yeah, not much longer, Clara and Sydney. Tonight will be the worst or the, the worst of the cold, I should say, with temperatures dropping down to near freezing in a few of our uh, sheltered northern uh, valley locations. Northern Star, northern Hidalgo County could see temperatures briefly hit freezing. Elsewhere for the lower valley, Hollands and Brownsville, uh, no threat to reach freezing, but it will be cold as we take you county by county. We'll see numbers down in the 30s, around 38 degrees in Harlingen. Sebastian there, 37. Olmito, 40. And then Brownsville at 41. Up into parts of Willacy County, Raymondville might be the coldest spot there, just above freezing at 34. And uh, for our friends in Edinburgh, 35 degrees. Elsa, 37. Uh, 40 for McAllen, 39 degrees out in Mission. And finally, in Star County, uh, Roma there, 34 degrees. Rio Grande City uh, likely to dip into the 30s, too, around 35 degrees. So this will be record-breaking cold, which uh, we have seen back in 2003. Harlingen and McAllen get down to 33, and Brownsville's record for tomorrow morning down in the upper 20s uh, from 29. So, no, we're not breaking records, but it will be uh, pretty cold. And where it's colder and snowing in the parts of New England, this major nor'easter continues to spin up the East Coast, bringing widespread and near whiteout conditions to parts of New England, New York City, Philly being, uh, having been seen kind of a wintry mix of precip the last several hours. Hours. And uh, we've also seen uh, snow on the west side of the state, too. In fact, uh, a picture shared with me from David in Pittsburgh. Uh, we can see kind of the snow adding up there. This is from the Mount Washington community outside of the city of Pittsburgh. It's just a winter wonderland scene out there. And while we look away to action in the northeast, we've got high pressure and control of our weather. So we're not going to be seeing anything like that or any major weather action anytime soon because high pressure continues to remain in control of our weather pattern. Throughout the day tomorrow, we'll see plenty of sunshine. You can see very little, if any, cloud cover expected. But on Friday, we'll start to see the wind change to southerly. That's going to bring in some moisture. And yes, some clouds, but we should not see any rain to round out the work week on Friday. It may be a Saturday before we see a few coastal showers move in as warmer days take shape before we cool back down to round out the weekend on Sunday. Current temperatures 47 degrees in Harlingen, 46 in Westlaco, 47 in Brownsville, and still 50 in McAllen. Winds have started to calm down too. So with that clear sky, calming wind, 41 degrees and average low. As we've talked about, there will be a few spots to see temperatures in the 30s tomorrow morning. 71 degrees, sunny and pleasant, beautiful, perfect, anything nice you want to call tomorrow. That's what your forecast is. And we have less wind in the forecast, too. Looking to that seven-day forecast, that small chance of showers on Saturday. I wouldn't bank on much rain happening with that front. It does bring us some slightly cooler air Sunday, but then we rebound right back into the 70s for the first several days of next week.